Tech AV welcomes you to this program about electric angle grinders. An angle grinder is one of a group of machines referred to as a portable grinding machine because it can be carried around and used in any situation that calls for fixed position work. Despite its versatility and general acceptance as an extremely useful tool, an angle grinder, if abused, can be one of industry's most dangerous machines, indirectly responsible for some rather unpleasant, personal, disabling injuries. The purpose of this program is to provide you with the necessary information for you to be able to use and maintain electrically powered angle grinders safely in various situations. Basically, there are six aspects that you must learn to ensure maximum safety for yourself and those around you. We shall discuss each individually. The topics we shall cover are the parts and functions of an angle grinding machine, key point machine inspection, basic usage procedures, selecting an abrasive wheel, mounting abrasive wheels, general or routine machine maintenance. Let's begin then as we first discuss a typical machine's parts and functions. We have selected the Metabo model which is typical of all high quality brand name machines on the market. As the machine is to be used and supported by hand it obviously requires two handles to hold it. One to support the back and one to support and guide the working end. Situated in the back support handle is the operating switch or trigger assembly which is operated by depressing with one finger. For purposes of safety a locking button has to be depressed with the thumb before the main operating switch can be activated. This ensures that the motor cannot be accidentally started should the main switch be touched when picking the machine up. The working end of the machine consists of an angled gearbox drive assembly which supports the wheel on a spindle. Surrounding the wheel is a metal wheel guard which provides protection to the operator against flying chips and sparks. Note that it is highly dangerous and illegal to remove the guard except for maintenance purposes. Returning once more to the gearbox end. Most modern machines incorporate a spindle lock. This button, when depressed, prevents the wheel and spindle turning. The feature is used only for purposes of changing wheels or attachments and must never be depressed during operation. Power for the machine is supplied via the workshop supply point and fed into the machine through the power cord. The cord is firmly secured at the entry point with a sturdy clamp. This feature helps to prevent the power cord from being ripped out accidentally. To prevent possible electric shock, the machine is double insulated which complies with industrial law. All machines must display certain information on the specification decal. Of vital importance to an operator is the spindle speed in revolutions per minute or RPMs. This we shall discuss in more detail later. Further information relates to the machine power rating in watts, which is a consideration for selecting the right machine for the job, as there are several size and power ranges to choose from. Let's then review the basic parts and functions. Firstly, we know that the machine must be held in two hands with handles, a back support handle and a side support handle. Sighted in the back support handle is the operating switch. A locking button prevents accidental operation when the machine is picked up. The working end consists of the angled gearbox drive, supporting the abrasive wheel upon a spindle. A wheel guard must be fitted to protect the operator from sparks and flying chips. The spindle lock provides the means to stop the spindle turning during wheel change operations. The power cord is firmly secured at the machine entry point to prevent accidental ripping out. Information displayed on the machine's specification decal includes the spindle speed in revolutions per minute and the power rating in watts. We pause now for discussion and workbook referral. <laughs>